first, I want to give you a chance to address uh, criticism, some of the criticism that's come up about your handling of the hearing. Uh, people are saying that you lost control. Uh, Carlos Conde of Human Rights Watch told us that he felt that Duterte had hijacked the hearing. And uh, also, former Senator uh, Ping Lakson tweeted that, uh, you know, uh, the upper chamber was invaded by Duterte. Uh, what and do you yet, think? And yet, they are happy that they have lots of material. Diba? Oh, so, actually, I will just follow the advice of uh, Dr. Willie Ong. Sabi niya, masyado niyang sineryoso yung mga bashing sa kanya, kaya siya nagka-cancer. So, wag na lang natin seryosohin yan. Kasi nga, as chairman, my mission was to be uh, uh, in the middle. Uh, just to bring out the evidence and to receive the evidence and to hear the witnesses. Hindi naman, wala naman akong plano makipag-debate kung tama o mali ang, sin ang opinion ng witness. So, mabuti na yan. Let's just put the, everything on record. And then, these people who are criticizing me are at the same time very happy that they have lots of material available. O si who made that possible? Sagutin nga nila. Uh, anyway, I, I'll go back to the advice of Doc Willie Ong. Wag nang patulan ang mga uh, bashers, ang mga negative comments. Gawin lang, lang natin yung uh, trabaho natin ng tama. Curious lang ako, Senator Coco, um, before the hearing, medyo short notice here, and you guys were uh, convened kind of suddenly. You just had a few days right. to prepare. Um, going into the hearing, um, did you have a strategy? Parang, eto yung gagawin ko? Nasunod ba yun? Or... Parang, what, were, what was going through your mind? Ano yung initial plan mo going into Monday's hearing? Yes, ju just, just to be a neutral uh, chairman nga and then to receive the evidence. But then, ito yung plan ko talaga. Because sabi ko nga, this is a blue ribbon hearing. So dapat, uh, this is about, the, the, the allegation is someone in government uh, made some questionable actions or decisions, ay yung tawag nga na uh, malfeasance, misfeasance, and nonfeasance. Kaya ang, ang aking plano sana, un, uunahin namin pakinggan yung mga victim families. Hmm. Eh, umangal yung mga kasama ko. They, kasi daw, we have a former president uh, in our midst. Pakinggan daw muna yung opening statement. So, ang compromise na lang namin, sige, okay. Dahil sa former president na ang, ang witness namin in a, right before us, sabi ko, sige, okay, may pakinggan yung opening statement niya, but ang compromise namin, after him, we will hear the victim families. Eh, yun naman ang nangyari. Uh, na, yun, naman ang, yun naman ang natupad. So, yun lang yung, yun lang yung strategy ko na hindi ko na, hindi natupad kasi nga, ang gusto ko sana, victim families, and then president, former President Duterte, nagkabaliktad. Former President Duterte and then victim families. Senator, don't you think the other senators could have pressed more uh, on, on the, the statements that the former president was making, uh, particularly on, the, for example, the Davao Death Squad, for, uh, on, on payments, um, course through mooking for one, and um, to focus on what, the committee was investigating on because it turned the other way around that the resource person was the one asking questions uh, to the senators mm -hmm. and you don't see that all the time uh, that's why meron mm -hmm. po nagsasabi yeah. na napunta yung control sa former president and he was acting like he was still boss in this hearing well okay lang yun i mean uh, it will be more natural yung kanyang testimony and it's all recorded and actually, for example, tinanong niya, yung, tinanong niya si Bato. Si Bato naman sumagot. So who, who are we? Who are we to stop ba, uh, Senator Bato from answering? Pero yung tinanong ni President Duterte, yung si, Gene, si Colonel Grijaldo, hindi, hindi ko naman pinasagot na si Colonel Grijaldo. Sinabi ko, tapos na po yun, sir. Nasagot na po ni Colonel Grijaldo yun. So ganun naman. So we were, we were, we were still uh, uh, in control of the hearing. Except that we, we really have a... Uh, a unique, a unique uh, personality uh, appearing before us. And ang attitude ko naman ganito eh. Okay, this is a person who has served as president. So, eh, siya, rin, siya rin yung nag-implement ng war on drugs. So therefore, siguro marami rin tayong pwedeng matutunan, 
makuha o maririnig galing sa taong ito na who held who held the highest post in the land. So that's that was my attitude. So uh, I let him speak, no? So and then we request eh, actually yung it's it's just the cursing na medyo uh, na na medyo hindi natin na control although uh, Senator Risa uh, pointed this out and I requested him to try to minimize or eliminate it talagang hindi kaya I mean uh, it's really his way of uh, speaking so ito siguro para malaman din pala ninyo because I'm sure marami tayong mga viewers doon akala nila na kasi na, na kita nila sa house hearing yung gano kabilis yung mag-contempt Diba? Mm -hmm. The subcommittee has no power to cite anybody in contempt. Ha? So, and, uh, and we will not have done it anyway. But anyway, kung may power to cite in, wala kami power to cite in contempt. That's in our rules. So the, 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 the power of the subcommittee is actually to, if there is an unruly person right before you, and then you can no longer hold the hearing because of this unruly person, uh, siguro the, the power of the subcommittee is to exclude, send out that person who is na, who is now disrupting the proceedings. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, yung mga curse words, and then if we, if we send him away, then wala na tayong testigo, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, tama rin naman si President Duterte, sabi niya, you invited me here. Actually, he was also invited. So, pakinggan natin, pakinggan, mm -hmm. din, pakinggan natin yung taong inimbita natin. Yeah. Senator, speaking of citing in contempt, we had Senator Bato de la Rosa here on the show last night. Can I, I'm just going to play a short soundbite for you to listen to and react, if I could just roll that soundbite of Senator Bato. As I have said, the double did squad creation ng media yan, ito sa Dabao. May may namamatay, may namamatay. Pero yung did squad na sabi mo, inorganized talaga yan at organized, I don't think so. But former, but the Former President Duterte also pointed to you during the hearing. Sabi niya at one point, ikaw, that squad ka din. Um, joke, joke, joke. Sabi niya, joke, joke, joke. Sen <laughs> Senator, he was under oath when he said that. Kasi nag... Oh, uh, so what? Nas so what? Bakit? Oh, kung under oath siya, then uh, i-contempt nila. Okay, so, his last line was, Kung under oath siya, eh, di in-contempt nila, di la, meaning you, you, the Senate. Uh, and I, alam nyo, just, alam nyo, yeah. I am the chairman of the subcommittee. Mm. Siyempre, mas pinag-aralan ko na yung rules namin. So, Senator right. Bato is just operating under general rules. But uh, Section 20 of our rules, yun, yun yung, actually, that was, Section 20 was quoted in the letter of the Blue Ribbon chairman to me. Mm. Ang sabi na Section 20, you, you just ask your researchers to to look at section 20 of our senate rules and are very very clear po doon at it's 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 the opening paragraph of the yeah. of the letter of senator pia Cayetano to me hmm. uh, uh, for forming the subcommittee yeah. it's senator, very very hmm. clear don't accept the power to cite in contempt under section 18 of our rules right so senator i understand that part that you can't cite him in contempt but the question is what do we make of that when they say it's a joke his testimony is a joke given he was under oath, and we were trying to find out, everyone was trying to find out, is there a Davao death squad? That is the, hard, we, the question at the heart of it, right? Hmm. When, we write, when we write the committee report, will we treat it as a joke? Hmm. Yun ang tanong. Miko, yun, yun ang tanong. But uh, just wait, wait for the committee report. It's too early. I think it's also unfair that after just one hearing... Hmm we will already decide mm -hmm. and we will mm -hmm. already make up our minds. It's, it's too early. I mean, mm -hmm. we should have uh, one or two more hearings and then we can now form our opinion. Uh, that's why I, I appreciated your earlier news report that the PNP is moving because I really intend to invite the PNP chief in the next hearing kasi tatanungin ko nga siya. Now that you are the chief, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you were, and then tatanungin din natin siya. Uh, what was your rank and position during the Duterte administration? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then siyempre, lo, mas lower level pa siya nun, di ba? And then tatanungin natin siya. Oh, uh, when you were at that rank and position, did you hear this talk about 
this uh, reward system. Mm. Senator, to be clear, this is PNP Chief General Romel Marbil. You, you Correct. The, the current okay. chief now, Mayor okay, Marbil. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I really, you. I really intend to invite him to the next meeting. Okay. But I, I saw your, I saw your news report. Na Kumikilos na rin pala sila. So that's, that, that's very good. Okay. okay. Uh, Senator Coco, one of the things uh, that wasn't answered, this is just uh, an addition to what Regina was saying earlier, yun nga, parang he seemed to have, the former president seemed to have several definitions as to what the death squad was, di ba? At alam na natin mm. yan, no? at some point, tinuro niya yung dating PNP chief, at some point, yung gangsters daw. Um, and you have also said that he will not be invited because there is no need for him to be at the succeeding hearings. I guess first question, Senator or may idea na ba tayo kung kailan yung next hearing? And second, um, how do we plan to answer these questions without the attendance of the former president? And to confirm what he said, kung alin ba talaga dun yung tama or all or none? Alam, alam mo, uh, it's illogical to get all of our inform information from one person. We have to do some investigating ourselves, hindi ba? Kasi... Sir, uh, sir, ano ba, A, B, A, B or C? Eh, gagawin na lang niya. Ay, ay, di, dadagdagan niya, D, E or F, just to confuse everybody. It's illogical, it's illogical to just keep on returning to one person and then, uh, and number one, force him to admit something and then he, he is so wise that he will not admit it, therefore nothing will happen. So we have to do the investigating or investigation ourselves. That's why I, I will uh, Senate, yeah, the Senate has to do its own thing. But of course, we have the law enforcement agencies. The past 10 years, ano nang ginaga, anong ginawa ninyo? Hmm. The past 8 years or 10 years. Oh. Then the next hearing, on the question on the next hearing, uh, I was disappointed during the first hearing that Garma did not show up. Mm. And Leonardo, but they had they had ano naman, they had reasonable or legitimate excuses. So we are reasonable people, so we we understand and we will allow it. But the next hearing must be scheduled in such a time or a period that Garma and uh, Leonardo will be present before us. Apart from uh, the the two uh, policemen that you were talking about. Are you also planning to look into the other um, definitions of a Davao death squad uh, espoused by the president? Kung yung mga mayayaman daw sa Davao ang nagpopondo nito um, at yung mga gangsters. I mean, how, how do you investigate that? How, how do you uh, find resource that's, persons with that? That's, that's, a, that's a good question for investigators. How do you investigate that? Do you even investigate that? Or, or... Swertihan that there is a whistleblower or uh, some some witness will volunteer some information. Sometimes swertihan din yan. Mm. So that's a very good question. But then uh, uh, relax lang muna tayo. Mm. Uh, basta re uh, yung investigators natin ready and then we pur we pursue the topics. But of course you cannot force you cannot force the uh, facts to come out if the statement is not true. Diba? What if it is not true? How, how can all of a sudden then we can produce the witnesses? So we will just pursue and then investigate. We will rely on the very experienced investigators. Tignan natin yung lead. Ang tawag dat, yata dyan, lead. Eh. Mm. If there are leads that we can follow. Yeah. But if there is no lead that we can follow, mm. wag natin pilitin because uh, ayaw naman natin din na uh, we are not Ano lang tayo rito, we are just an impartial uh, chairman of an investigation and we want to receive as many uh, testimony and evidence uh, uh, which are credible, uh, credible evidence. We want as, as much credible evidence that we can get. Um, Senator Coco, I know you have to leave by 8.30, but just one last question very quickly. Senator, Former Senator Sonny Trillanes says the transcript of the Senate hearing has been transmitted to the ICC. The transcripts of the Quadcom hearings were previously transmitted already and duly received. I wonder if you know anything about this. I need to, I need to ask the Blue Ribbon staff, okay? Uh, remember, I am not the chairman of the Blue Ribbon. I am just a uh, chairman of a uh, uh, subcommittee. So uh, I, I, need to, I need to ask the staff to 
uh, if someone has uh, formally mm. asked for the uh, for certified true copies of transcript and other records. Uh, Senator, I know you you are a minority leader, uh, but uh, taking a look at the the Senate hearing, it seems though that um, there were not enough voices to challenge the allies and also the former president. I mean, if it, taking a look at the whole power dynamic inside the room, do you think the senators could have done better and could do better in the hearings to come? And you, are, you asked them because I gave all of them 10 minutes each. Eh? So how they used the time given to them, uh, they should be you asked to explain how they used the time given to them. So, Achaka, of course, uh, the agenda, the agenda is not really to pin down the former president. Diba? So, kanya -kanya, the agenda is to make him appear before us and hear his testimony. So, one, one senator might want to ask some very sharp or very difficult to answer questions. One senator would probably want to praise the former president. So, I gave them uh, equal time. Uh, you ask them why they use their time that way, the, the way that they used it. So, tagutin na po nila yun sa kanilang mga audience o sa kanilang mga constituents. Okay. Well, thank you for allowing us to press you tonight uh, and for making time for us. We're going to have to leave that there. Thank you so much for your time. Senator Coco Pimentel, lead of the Senate probe into the Duterte drug war.